<laughs> Let's go. Third snake of the day. Crazy. Fortunately, things took a turn from the worst. Mightiest snake in Thailand makes its return to the channel. Oh, wow. Check this out, guys. All right, here we go. 7.40 a.m. in the morning, and we are heading out to do some road cruising. I'm barely awake, but let's give it a shot. Let's do like an hour, try and go until nine-ish, see if anything crosses our path. Damn, and seconds after I filmed that intro, just got our first snake on the road, and it's acting kind of weird. Oh, it's a skinny-ass Malayan racer, by the way, guys, which is a the kind of cousin species of the copperhead rat snake or radiated rat snake. Oh yeah, now you can see it doing some defensive taming. This is a big one too, but a huge one in fact, but he's not very healthy. Hold on, let me... I'm sorry, I had absolutely no time to film whatsoever. I just saw a snake come out of these bushes way up the road. And as a result, I just ran. <laughs> Look at this go. Oh, I love these guys' defensive mechanism. Look at that. <laughs> Just gets striking at me as I sit here, but this guy is not only cold, but also not very healthy. So his strikes aren't exactly too potent towards me, but that's still pretty cool to see. I'm not gonna spend long with this guy because I wanna try out, see if we can get some more. And uh, also I don't wanna stress him out because he's so thin. Like really emaciated this one, but he still has life in him. And once he catches a meal, I reckon he'll be doing better. See ya, buddy. Just cruised this massive Asian forest scorpion with an incredible green coloration. These guys are very, very like non-defensive, even though it looks like it, it will sting or pinch, but it won't, but absolutely huge. And just crossing in the early morning time. I'll let him get about his business. All right, just got back from that cruise. Sorry I didn't do a proper intro to this video. I just got up and went straight out. Um, didn't see anything else after that snake. And uh, yeah, it's got way too hot outside. It's just ridiculously hot and dry here. I've never seen it so dry in this area. It's like getting to 30 plus degrees by 10 a.m. in the morning and there hasn't been a drop of rain in days. But I may get out a little bit more this morning. If not, I'll catch you in this late afternoon. All right, the roads have got too hot, but we're still up at a good time. So Cass and I are gonna do some morning walking. Um, very unlikely that something will show up, but we'll give it our best shot. And uh, I'm sure something will be around, maybe just a lizard or something. Guys, you can see the car right down there. We didn't even get this far down the trail before Cass spot was like, snake, 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 and told me it went under some leaves. I lifted them up. Well, she lifted them up with me and revealed this juvenile variable reed snake, which is actually awesome because I've never seen a juvenile of this species before and it's something that I've really wanted to find and photograph. Okay, well, here's some final footage of this one before we take some pictures of it. But yeah, second snake of today after really, really struggling to pick up anything during the day in the first few days of this trip. And it's a good one too. This is already quite a rare species in Thailand, the variable reed snake. and. Juvenile, yeah, something I've been really wanting to see for a long time. So great spot by Cass. Oh, a cloud has just come over, but in the shade, it's actually okay, but it is so hot in the sun. Regardless, it's incredibly beautiful here. Like this is my happy place if I had to, if I had to choose somewhere for real. What just happened, Cass? Well, I got scared because I saw a big snake right there and I screamed snake. <laughs> yep, Rhabdophis flaviceps in the daytime. We were just talking about it. Is it the same? Well, it's got a big mud thing on its head. I don't think it's the same one we saw the other night, is it? This one doesn't have many, any bands at all. Yeah, we were just talking about it because Cass, when she saw the little red-headed snake earlier, a few minutes ago, she thought that it was going to be a juvenile of these. But no, daytime, seconds after I filmed that last clip, talking about this being my favorite spot, spot Cass spots another snake. He's completely whipping my ass today. It's another female Rhabdophis flaviceps, a huge one as well, but I think it's a different one than we saw the other day. It's really hard to tell. Like, okay, I'll compare with this marking on the neck here. This should be like telltale, but that's our third Rhabdophis flaviceps observation of this trip. And I'm going to take a phone photo. 
All right, I just reviewed, and I think this is the same girl that we caught the other night, which makes sense because it was it was very close to here. So we're gonna let this one go, and not disturb her anymore, because we already caught her the other night. So you can just let her go, Cass. Third snake of the day. Crazy, crazy. All right, so my all-time record in Thailand's deep south is four snake species during the day, and we were planning on uh, doing a lot more daytime searching today, today to try and break that record or at least equal it. But unfortunately things took a turn from the worst. Hold on. When uh, a couple kids, um, the one that was driving couldn't be older than 13, the one on the back couldn't be older than 10, smashed into the side of our car when we were turning right. Absolutely insane. It was so lucky they were thrown into the bushes and they were both okay, but it was truly a shocking experience and one which uh, kind of truncated our whole afternoon and certainly needed a break and a bit of a like sort of a I don't know what, just a bit of recovery time after that because it was really, really shocking. I was so worried for them. It's unbelievable. But that said, nightfall is coming soon and we will be going out into the field tonight nonetheless. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm a little bit late to getting out tonight. It's almost 8 p.m. now. It's because uh, we went to visit the boy who injured his leg in the accident earlier in the hospital and give him some sweets and stuff just to make sure he's okay and uh, well taken care of and his family's there because it was really unfortunate for those for those kids. Uh, you know, I don't blame them for what happened at all. Uh, we all make mistakes growing up and certainly uh, I'm incredibly happy. It could have been so much worse and I'm just very happy that the injury to just one of the boys was very minor. But I'm gonna try not to let that phase me too much because it's my last, last day in my favorite area and the people around here were so nice about the incident and it just reinforced how great of a place in Thailand this area is. And uh, so let's go and see if there's anything moving while it's pouring with rain. And as soon as it stops raining, we're gonna get out hiking. But uh, that could not be for a while. Okay, so first find on the trail is actually kind of crazy. It's this uh, pretty striped bronze back, nothing special, but incredibly, I believe this is the exact same individual which I found on this exact same plant last time I was here. I didn't manage to film it in situ because uh, I saw it about to zoom off and I was like, okay, I need to get a hand on it. But yeah, these are really pretty snakes and uh, maybe he's even grown an inch since we last saw him, but I'm almost certain this is the same individual. Of course, I'm holding him behind the neck because these guys always bite the crud out of you. He got me immediately as I caught him, but now I got him in a, in a very gently held position here. And you can see those beautiful coils and a very nice species of snake, albeit one which always about file, fail beats the cr bites the crud out of me. <laughs> so it kind of happened again. So I just spotted this uh, vine snake hanging out off the trail. And then Cass was like, snake, 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 and pointed at the trail itself. Um, it wasn't a snake. It was uh, something that looks a lot like one. It was this Ichthyophis CF Superchai, this little Southern Sicilian, which is a type of legless amphibian, really crazy creature. These are kind of boring to me because I see them all the time, especially when there's heavy rain. But to people elsewhere in the world, these are always fascinating creatures. You can get some close up of the head there. Really see what these guys are about. These things are wild. I'm going to put this guy back because he's drying out in my hand. And then we can go and take a closer look at the vine snake, which I just want to get an ID on it. Which is Micterizans. You can see it's got an all green tail and a very, very white underside of the head in that short with the much shorter snout as you guys see there. That's pretty indicative of Mcterizans. So just gonna leave this one in situ, no reason to mess with it, um, but a pretty little green snake glowing in the bushes. Let's see what else we can turn up tonight. Damn guys, just saw a blue coral snake, a smaller one than the last night actually, uh, zoom into here. I tried to dig it out, it just vanished into these rocks the second I laid my eyes on it. Um, and I dug out some of the rocks, but they go so deep, I don't think there's any point excavating it. Um, we'll come by later, see if it comes out again, but damn, that's two blue corals in two nights in the same small area. Got a little earless agamid here. This is an interesting little small, tiny agamid here in southern Thailand, which, as the name implies, lacks ears. It also has an amazing blue inside of the mouth, but we're not going to wake this guy up. Damn, just found one of the coolest lizards which inhabits this forest. This is an adult female Gonocephalus abati, only the second adult female I've ever seen. I've shown a couple juveniles from this location on the channel before, but this thing's amazing. Like, check out my hand next to it. One of the most incredible lizards. Like, not only is it bright green, I mean, there's other green lizards around, but it's just the shape of it and also how freaking rare these are. 
an amazing inhabitant of this jungle here. What a fantastic find tonight. All right, guys, tragically, our time in the deep south has come to an end. However, we do have one more night of herping to come, which I'll be filming tonight in a familiar location where I'll be targeting a very specific rare cookery. But for now, we've got, well, a seven hour drive, possibly a little bit more to go. So I'm gonna lock in, get that done, and I'll catch up with you soon. All right, seconds upon arriving at the site and we got our first snake just crossing the road. It looks like it's been raining very heavily here and uh, the rain has brought out this little Laotian wolf snake. Maybe there'll be quite a few snakes active here, but oh, the bitiest snake in Thailand makes its return to the channel. It's long awaited return as well, I'd say. I don't know if people on the channel are fond of these, probably are. I see people commenting about them every now and again. Cute little Laotian wolf snake. One of the nicer wolf snakes in Thailand, in my opinion, with the beautiful yellow coloration. But honestly, I'm already sick of being bitten by this sharp toothed little bugger. So I'm going to let him cruise off into the bushes. All right, we're already one snake up. So let's hit the forest and see what shows up. I bet there'll be a ton of beautiful pit vipers and hopefully a few more other snakes too. So this trip, Cass has for sure been the queen of finding tiny ass snakes on the ground. She just spotted our first beautiful pit viper. And look at the size of this thing, guys. Look at the size of it. It's so tiny. It's like my hand there. You can really see, like, this is the smallest one I've ever seen without a doubt. This thing must have, like, just hatched out. It's so freaking minuscule. Really nice pattern on them at this age. They have such, like, vibrant greens. Only a few individuals tend to retain the bright, vibrant green into adulthood, usually females. But, yeah, maybe this one is a juby female. I don't know. We've seen a couple of vine snakes so far, but this is the first one which is actually close enough to the trail to get a look at. This uh, Ahetila Prasina just resting, sleeping in situ, not even really disturbed by me like prodding through the bushes towards it. And I'm not gonna disturb it any longer. Nice uh, common species, always glowing in the bushes. Oh, wow, check this out, guys. This beautiful pit viper here has just caught a frog from this pond. It's perched in such a typical way on the edge. And uh, that's exactly what these guys do. They find little pockets of water where there's frogs and just wait for them to show up. And this uh, lovely female here has grabbed a Polypodates lucimastix, a uh, four lion tree frog. I mean, it's not really in the best place for filming right now, but I'm sure you can get a look at it there. I'll uh, pick up fil filming in a second after taking a few photos. All right, guys, it just started moving and started consuming it. It took around, what would you say that was, Cass? Two, three minutes, four minutes before it started eating it? Yeah, it just good. kind of hang, hung there in the air. But now you can get like, an incredible look at this thing. You can really see their fangs start to work in. The snake has almost finished his meal now. And I have to say how like special it is to actually see this because you guys know, you watch my videos, I'm finding tons of snakes every trip, hundreds and hundreds of snakes per month here in Thailand. And it's almost never that I see a feeding observation. So whenever I do, it's really special. Being able to catch, capture this one with photographs and video from start to finish was simply amazing. I mean, it's a very boring snake. I mean, I say boring. Lots of you probably die to see this, but very common snake for me to see. And being able to observe this is, is makes it a hundred times more special and makes tonight really unique for that opportunity. I'm going to leave this guy be now. He's just about finished his meal. And I'm sure he won't be the last one we see tonight as well. All right, well, I didn't film much at the end because I did an Instagram like live herping stream for fun. So uh, if that's the kind of thing you'd be interested in, head over to my Instagram, same as my YouTube handle, Rupert's Reptiles. Post a lot of cool pictures over there and stuff. But uh, we're so tired after this week and uh, it's about just gone 10 now. So we're going to call it a day, uh, come back here another time and we're going to go get some food and some cold drinks. Let's go. Thanks for watching, guys, by the way. And uh, make sure you...